complicated subject this one is. Okay, let's start off with the haters. Okay, before you watch this video, look, I've seen some of these comments and they've just been absolutely ridiculous. So before you comment, this is towards the haters anyway, have a think about what you're going to say and if you're just there to spread hate, think twice. And, and before you say, this is a crap video, let's see yours. Okay, next subject. Do you know the amount of crap that I've been copying because I call myself True Blue Australian? Oh my God! The, the Aboriginal people are claiming that I'm not a True Blue Australian because I'm not Aboriginal. That to me sounds racist. I can't be Australian or I can't be True Blue Australian because I'm not Aboriginal? Get with the picture people, come on. Next, this whole stolen generation. I've been trying to do a few, what, three days worth of research on this subject and it's just a nightmare. I can't, I really can't get my head around this whole stolen generation. So this is what I've decided my opinion is going to be. The stolen generation, okay, a long time ago, was it wrong? I'm not sure. Uh, you're looking at Aboriginal people, uh, especially for people who don't know Aboriginal people, uh, as in US and other countries. Uh, we, at the, even currently we have a lot of problems. Not problems, let's get this politically correct. Um, there are problems with Aboriginal uh, cultures, communities. No, communities would be the better word to choose here. Uh, with uh, alcohol, uh, with uh, drug substance abuse, uh, housing, finances, employment. Uh, at the moment, they're on. A, I think they're on a pretty good wicket. They get um, a lot, uh, not a lot, maybe uh, yeah, some better uh, support from the government than we get, and maybe they deserve it. I'm not going to issue that. Uh, now, what this whole stolen generation? Okay, so they've. They've taken the children from families and placed them with other families. Now, my question here is, what were the families like that they were taken from? Okay, a family is an important bond, but if, if, if your parents are on drugs and if your parents are on, you know, are unemployed and, and, and can't support you, isn't a child going to live with another family even though it's, it's not a totally good issue? Isn't that a better thing for a child? I mean, I know if I couldn't afford to feed my child or if I couldn't, if I had a drug problem, yeah, send the, better, the child off to a better place. Now, that's what I, I've been, that's some of the research I've been doing and I, and I really can't find an answer for it because it was so long ago, I think. Uh, what else is there? Uh, now, they've been asking for this sorry and I think, yeah, it is an issue, but they're making it out to be so big. I mean, yeah, you know, but I don't see the Australian government apologising for a lot of issues. But okay, so they've apologised. But here comes the money. This is what they want. This is the money. Okay, now, are the Aboriginal people going to say, that's it, we're happy. We've got a sorry. The government knew they were doing something wrong and they apologised for it. They're not happy with that? You watch. You quote me on this one. You watch how many court cases and how much financial retribution they're going to be trying to go for here. Now, I don't know, you know how much is deserved or how, how much you know should be paid out, but personally I, I don't think uh, anything should be paid out. I'm probably going to receive a lot of hate for that, but uh, a sorry should be enough. This was a long time ago and uh, whilst the government is sorry, you know, are we going to be paying every, you know, every child that was uh, relocated? Maybe relocated would be a better word than the stolen generation here. Hmm. Uh, you know, you know, a million dollars. I mean, where is this going to stop? Is this is this going to affect Australia's economy because we have to pay out, uh, you know, hundred thousand kids that were relocated? Now, now each wanting a million dollars. I mean, which one deserves more? Which one deserves less? 
is this about money? And unfortunately, I just see more of it and more of it. And uh, I was hoping that the government was going to uh, put a few clauses in there to uh, say the Australian government and you know Australian people are sorry, and I, and I think they deserve that. But you know, massive financial you know payouts. I'm sorry, I'm just not with that one. I know I'm going to cop a lot of hate for it, but uh, it's just something uh, I personally believe in. Anyway, uh, and uh, I'm you know, no matter what culture comes into Australia, I welcome with open arms and um, maybe they should be doing the same too.